Hey guys, so I found this really really cute DIY tie-dye wall on Pinterest and I had to try it. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to need double-sided tape, scissors, and the paint samples that you can find at any store that sells paint, and they're free. So first what you want to do with your little paint samples um, is you want to organize them in color order um, so you can just use the rainbow as a reference. And then next you just want to begin to cut them up and try to stay with kind of like boxy shapes like squares and rectangles because that will work best for the look that we're going for. So if you're wondering how I got so many paint samples, um, it was actually in more than one trip to the store so I was kind of saving them and you can always ask like friends to get them for you, like your dad if he goes to like Home Depot a lot because that's where I know they have a lot of them. I got all of mine at Walmart so check out Walmart if you want to try this little DIY. For these larger um, rectangles, you want to really cut them up into smaller shapes um, because that'll look better and then you can spread out the color more and it just looks awesome when you cut them smaller. So these are our final squares and rectangles and now we are ready to just apply our double sided tape to the back of them and then stick them onto the wall. Okay, so the color order that you want to keep in mind when you're doing this is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then pink. Um, and basically when you're sticking them on the wall, you're just trying to put different shapes, different places. You can do it sideways or you can do it horizontally or vertically um, and just really blending the colors and think kind of think of ombre when you're doing that really helps me as well If you kind of see some of them starting to kind of peel off on the corners or anything, you can always put um, just some clear duct tape over it to kind of smooth it out and I think that that makes the look so much better because you want it to stay really flat against the wall. Basically from here you just want to have fun with it and just really get into the colors and adding all the colors. Um, and if you have a flat, um, kind of like a smooth surface on your ceiling, you can um, bring this up to the ceiling as well. But my ceiling has like a texture to it so I couldn't. But um, either way it looks really really cool.
this is the final wall tie-dye. <laughs> that sounds so weird, but this is the final um, wall tie-dye, and it looks so, so cool, um, especially on the corner of the wall because um, and in different angles, it looks different ways, and it just really looks cool, and it brings a lot of color to your room. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more DIYs.